Hello, I'm Dr. Yarinacho from Respiratory Medicine Department of Institute of Medicine too. Nice to meet you. The system I'm going to introduce is Respiratory System Examination. The examination of the respiratory system composed of general examination and examination of the chest proper. The examination of the respiratory system starts with the patient exposure and position. The bedside manner of the doctor is always very important to obtain the rapport and cooperation of the patient. Be gentle, polite and keep the patient informed. First of all, introduce yourself and position the patient. Hello, Dr. Yinyue. Let's start the respiratory system examination. Hello, Mr. I'm Dr. Owe. May I examine your chest, please? Yes. Would you mind popping off your top for me, please? Ensure adequate lighting the and exposure. The patient should be lying in semi-recumbent position, feel comfortable and free access to the axillary regions with strip to the waist. For a female patient, it is courteous to provide a blanket to remain covered until the examination of chest proper. General examination. General examination may reveal a number of features related to the respiratory disease like level of consciousness, features of hypoxia, hypercapnia, state of hydration and nutrition. Note, any breathlessness, cough, wheeze, strider and abnormality of the voice. Inspect quickly face, neck, and hands. May I see your eyes, please? Please look at. Detect pallor. Please join this. Look at your feet. Okay, thank you. Pregnant nasal congestion and ptosis. Observe for ear nasi working and lips pursing. Inspect down. Would you mind popping out your tent for me, please? You get any central cyanosis and note changes in the JVP, any dilated superficial veins, subcutaneous emphysema. Note whether the accessories muscle working or not. Examination of hands. <coughs> Identify finger clubbing. Inspect the fingers laterally for loss of nail bed angle. To elicit the fluctuation, place the patient's finger on the pulp of examiner's two thumbs with middle fingers over the proximal flangel joint. Then, palpate the finger over the nail base with the examiner's two index fingers. Also note, Nicotine staining and cyanosis. Warm hands and bounding pulse of carbon dioxide retention. Demonstrate the flapping tremor and look for peripheral edema. Examination of the chest proper. Examine the patient with chest and upper abdomen fully exposed and evenly illuminated. Inspect the chest from front, side and back. Recognize different chest wall shapes and understand their significance. For example, kyphoscoliosis, barrel chest, pigeon chest, thoracoplasty.
Skin Recognize evidence of previous surgery, radiotherapy, engorged superficial veins, sinuses, and subcutaneous nodules. Movements Surreptitiously count the respiratory rate in full minute by observing the chest movement with fingers held on the pulse. Note chest expansion and depth, mode of breathing, and any abnormal inspiratory and expiratory movement. Please take a full deep breath in. Breathe out fully. Assess lower anterior movement while breathing deeply. Look tangentially from the side of patient. For infraclavicular region, doctor crouching and viewing tangentially from foot end of the bed. Palpation of trachea. To identify the position of trachea, gently introduce the tip of the index finger into the suprasternal notch exactly in the midline and press gently against the trachea. Examination of chest expansion. Record the maximal chest expansion by placing a tape measure around the chest at nipple level. Please turn your head to the left a bit. Please take a full deep breath in. Breathe out fully. Again. Okay, thank you. Assess the lower anterior expansion by both hands over lower rib cage. Position of the apex peak should be checked. Percussion The basic technique of percussion for a right-handed clinician is as follows. Place the left hand on the chest wall, palm downwards, fingers slightly separated, with second phalanx of the left middle finger firmly pressed over the area to be percussed, usually an intercostal space, then strike the center of the second phalanx with tip of the right middle finger held at a right angle with entire movement coming from the wrist joint to produce a hammer-like effect. The area to be percussed on anterior chest wall are apex, clavicle, Infraclavicular region, second to six intercostal spaces on both sides. Lateral chest wall. The area to be percussed are 4th to 7th intercostal spaces on both sides. Compare the note obtained from identical sites on the two sides and map out any area of impaired resonance, including cardiac and hepatic dullness by percussing from resonant to dull area. Auscultation Patient should be breathing deeply and fairly rapidly through the mouth and listening with the bell of the stetho is preferable. During auscultation, clinician has to determine whether breath sounds are equal on both sides to ascertain the character like bronchial breath sound, vesicular breath sound, vesicular breath sound with prolonged expression and to detect any added sounds like wheeze, crackles, and plural rub, and to compare voice sounds, that is, vocal resonance. Auscultate the two sides alternately. Anteriorly from above the clavicle down to the sixth rib.
laterally from the axilla to the 8th rib. If necessary, repeat after coughing. Demonstrate the vocal resonance. Say 111 for me, please. Okay, thank you. Examination from posterior aspect of the chest. Before examination, the clinician should look for any cervical lymph adenopathy. Warn the patient for any possible discomfort before examination. Should we be a little bit uncomfortable? Sorry for that. Patient's neck should be slightly flexed towards the sides under examination. Examine the submental, submandibular, preauricular, tonsillar, deep cervical, scalene, supraclavicular, and along the border of the trapezius muscle, suboccipital and posterior auricular lymph node should be palpated. When examine the proper chest, patient should sit upright with arms folded across the chest. Inspection. Take a full deep breath in. Breathe out fully. Again. Again. Look, look for small bouncy scars and assess chest movement posteriorly. Palpation. Take another deep breath in. Breathe out fully. Estimate the respiratory okay. movement of the lower ribs posterior. Percussion. Now I'm going to tap your back. There will be no pain. I'll do it very gently. Percuss over trapezius, above the level of spine of scapula. and at intervals of 4 to 5 cm from below the level of spinal scapula down to the 11th rib on both sides. Auscultation Now I'm going to listen to your back. Please take nice breath in and out through your mouth. Auscultation from above the level of spinal scapula down to the 11th rib. Vocal resonance assessment as in anterior examination. Say 111 for me, please. Again. 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 One, one, one. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your kind cooperation. May I have the dress up? I can manage it. Okay, you can take the rest. Thank you, Yin Wen. Thank you, Pure Wei. This is the end of respiratory system examination. And I hope the students can perform the respiratory system examination thoroughly and efficiently from now on.